Hi, this video is all about Libra. Whether you're a Libra Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, or Mars, this video is for you. Now, if you do not know your planetary placements, my birth chart calculator, you can go to my site on the top of the page as calculators. I will have to admit, it goes on the fritz a lot, and I don't know why I need a new one. So I would go to astro, A-S-T-R-O dot com, go to their website, and go to their birth chart calculator to find out your planetary placements. If you somebody asked me earlier today, too, if I don't know my birth time, would it still be correct? It will. Um, to know what sign your planet is in, it'll be correct. Except you won't know your ascendant sign. Um, the only thing that won't be correct is the ascendant and the house placements. But everything else would be right, okay? So I hope this helps you. All right. So Libra. All right. All about you guys. Well, you guys are an air sign, Okay. Um, you guys are ruled, you know, you guys are all about the scales, all about balance and harmony. Um, also beauty. Um, Libra is all about balance, harmony, beauty. And I will say, um, you know, you're, uh, for, the, for the most part, I will say that Libras don't really like disharmony at all. Um, if you guys are in a situation in which you feel like, oh, gosh, this isn't going to be a good situation, um, you guys are really trying to be diplomatic and not saying anything to the point where it's going to upset the person. So sometimes some of you could actually, um, you know, white lie here and there because it, here's the thing. You may not say exactly what's on your mind because you don't want to deal with a disharmonious situation. Um, so therefore Libras tend to, you know, kind of be really good at, you know, sugarcoating things. <laughs> okay, let's put it to you that way, all right? Um, you guys are really good at being able to see both sides of a situation. So being some sort of a counselor or marriage counselor or stuff like that or a lawyer, a lot of these people go into these fields because they see both sides of the situation. They're able to not only see their own if they're in the situation, but they can see the other person's as well, okay? So that's a benefit to you. But one thing Libra hates is a disharmonious situation. They hate, 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 uh, you know, being in you know, like, a, even though, here's the weird part about it. They don't really like arguing, but they love to debate. So sometimes, you know, they may say, well, I don't like arguing with you. I don't want to argue. But yet they will fight to the death and they'll debate, debate forever their point, okay? Um, so I, I can say because, you know, I'm an Aries son. <laughs> so I see this too. And, you know, my ex is a double Libra. So. Trust me, they will like to, uh, they don't want to fight. Uh, and one thing about Aries is Aries is your opposite sign. So Aries is not afraid of, of a fight. Aries will just go right for it, you know. Especially a lot of you could be drawn to Aries big time. Um, very direct, uh, is a very much more direct sign than you. Where you're ruled by Venus. So Venus for you is is more so about beauty and harmony. A lot of you Libra ascendants could be good looking, could be um, very classy, could be very graceful when you go out, could be very diplomatic. Um, you could exude an, uh, an aura of you know what to say and what not to say. You know how to behave in all social situations. Um, you're looking for, you know, grace and um, you know you want to be classy basically very classy is the Libra ascendant especially um, Libra Sun people at a soul level um, you like harmony you like balance you don't like injustice you you want to be fair okay um, I will say but you know I, that's basically the whole Libra thing, and to be fair and to be honest. Now, if your life is totally out of flux and, you know, I know Libras are going through a lot, and this is, uh, I have to give you the date, this is uh, October 5th, 2015, so I don't know when people are watching this video, but especially later on, um, right now Libras are going through, Uranus is going through your seventh house, making things very up and downs with relationships, and you guys can feel like, well, do I want a relationship? Do I want to be single? Well, no, but I don't feel like I want to be alone. That's another thing with Libras, okay? 
especially if you're anything, Libra Sun, Ascendant, Moon, uh, especially moon, especially Libra moon, you feel like you can't be alone. You feel like you need to be in a relationship. You hate being alone. Hate, hate, hate. And that is the reason is because you guys are learning about relationships in this life. That's why you're a Libra. You know, you're learning about partnership and, and relationships, and it's not an I, it's a we. Um, so your guys' whole thing is about relationships, so of course you need to be in one. You know, some people may say there are some people who just can't be alone. Well, I will say Libra is one of them. So, it's, you know, this, this sign itself is all about partners. It's all about relationships. It's about trying to balance the whole we situation, okay? But a lot of you are out of balance with Uranus in the seventh house, creating a lot of, you know, ups and downs. And what do I want? And it makes Libra more, um, I want to say rebellious, you know, kind of... Um, doing things uh, off the cuff, like, you know, I kind of want to have my freedom, you know, but yet I want to feel like I'm in a relationship too, you know, so what do I want? And so a lot of Libras are back and forth. I will say one thing about Libra, if they're going to break up with you, they will usually find somebody, um, they usually find somebody else first before they break it off because they don't want to be alone. And I'm not talking about the Uranus transit right now. I'm, this is just Libra in general. You know, a lot of Libras will date and date and date and maybe even date more than one person until they really want to settle down, then they will be faithful, okay? So a lot of them will, you know, they, they won't, they don't want to um, settle down until they're like, oh, okay, well, maybe, you know, maybe this is better for me, you know? But trust me, let's say if they're dating more than one person and then they'll get caught, they do not want to deal with that aftermath. Trust me, that Libra does that. Like, but they will debate, though. They will debate. They're very good at debating, and they're an air sign. So I will say when they say things, their tongue is like a sword. They're an air sign. Air signs can be like that. Their tongue can be like a sword when they say things, you know, like cuts like a knife, especially if you have Mercury in Libra, okay? So... Um, you know, basically, you guys, beauty, harmony, you know, uh, graceful type of people um, have problems making a decision. You know, Libra, you know, it's like, okay, um, you you kind of, you know, you're a cardinal sign, but you, you know, Libras usually have a hard time settling down, you know, like for the most part, you know, so weighing the scales because they see both sides of a situation they're like okay what do i do i see this and then i see that you know what do i do okay so um let's talk now about libra moon uh, libra moon is a sign especially that cannot be alone um libra moon whether you're a man or a woman in a chart represents the mother so your mom could have been maybe very beautiful she could be very balanced. She could be very, unless there's other planets conjuncting this, could tell a different story. But Libra moon by itself, um, mom could have been very balanced, seeing both sides of a situation, trying to be fair. She could have been very beautiful, very classy type of person, okay? Um, that's Libra moon. Now, um, in a man's chart, the moon represents his future wife. So you may want somebody who possesses the same characteristics as mom, somebody who's, you know, classy, uh, somebody who is um, graceful, balanced. You, you don't like disharmony, so you don't want a woman who's, like, bipolar by any means. Uh, you definitely want somebody who um, knows how to act in any kind of social situation, who has this aura of class and grace about them, as definitely with a Libra moon. Now, the way you handle your emotions, Libra, you, I would say, is a very balanced sign. You always look at both sides of the situation. Um, maybe when you're having an argument, you try to look at their side of it, like, well, what could they be thinking? Well, I know how I'm thinking, but what, you know, what could they be thinking? Again, this could be different if the moon is conjunct another planet, okay, as well. This could color that. But you could be thinking like, oh, well, I see, you know, I see their side and then I see my side. One tough thing with a Libra moon, when you're upset, you don't like to be alone. <laughs> you don't like to be by yourself. So if you're with a partner and they're like, you know, I'm done with this, you may really try to find somebody right away to be with because you don't want to handle that issue alone, you know. So 
you know, it's one, the ladies, if, if you're dating someone with a Libra moon and you dump them, just know if you're saying to him, and you don't mean to dump him, you know how you get mad and you're like, I'm done with you, I'm not talking to you right now, let's click, you know, he may try to be with someone else for that time just to get over this time and, you know, so just be aware of that. This is a person who cannot be alone. Definitely with a Libra moon, okay? Now, if you have a Libra Mercury, um, community, these are the people who can be very articulate when speaking. Um, they're good at arguing both sides of a situation. Again, a lawyer would be great with this placement. Um, they can have a tongue like a sword, okay? A lot of the air signs do. Um, this person is intellectual, very smart. Um, I want to say can be very, uh, can say things that cuts like a knife sometimes, you know, like maybe it could be a little hurtful in their words, you know, sometimes. Uh, but for the most part, they don't want to be. Libra is a very, uh, for the most part, wants to be very classy, wants to be, um, they don't like disharmony. They want to get along um, for the most part. But I say when angry, though, their words can cut like a knife. Just saying. Okay. They are an air sign. Okay, um, for the, um, the big part of Lib Mercury and Libra is wanting to be fair. So you, in your communications, you try to be fair, you know. Uh, you try to see both sides. And, uh, but you can be very, uh, when somebody pushes you to the limit, you could cut like a knife with your words, okay. Um, okay, so let's say if you have your Mars in Libra. Well, Mars and Libra is, you know how they say you attract, this, you, you know, relationships are like a mirror. You attract what you are. And that is because Mars is your energy as a person, right? And in a woman's chart, Mars is also what you're attracted to, okay? So for Libra men and women with Mars and Libra, these are the people who try to be, um, maybe they go out of their way to dress nice, look nice. Um, th these people are all about beauty and grace and harmony, and they try their actions to be, um, their energy, they could be very creative people. They could be into music, you know. Mars and Libra, definitely mu mu musically inclined. Um, they could be, um, you know, gracious, um, know how to be in any social, social situation is their energy, very balanced, um, you know, very classy, I want to say, for the most part, their energy, they try to be very classy and very fair in things that they do. Um, like I said, when, you, when the Mars is your energy, so when you're mad, um, you know, you, you could be, I want to say that you're not super aggressive. With this Mars, it's not like a Mars in Aries, you know. Um, this Mars is not so aggressive. It tries to be peaceful. I would say you could be a peacemaker type of energy. You could be the person that everyone talks to, like, um, you know, they're fighting and you're trying to fi fix the situation. That could be totally you, whether you're a man or woman. So if you're a woman and Mars, you have a Mars uh, in Libra, you could be attracted to a guy who's good looking, um, very classy. This is a guy probably dresses really nice. This is somebody who walks in and, just um, very, you know, classy type of person, knows how to handle themselves, you know, knows how to, um, they know etiquette big time, okay? They know, let, I'm going to tell you this, this isn't the guy who's going to bring out coupons at dinner. This isn't the guy who's not going to know how to not tip. This is going to be somebody who tips properly because they, they're, they're well-versed. This person would be well-versed on etiquette, I would feel, Mars and Libra is all about class and grace, and it's all about um, being harmonious. So this is a woman who's, who's really looking at a guy. In other words, when he walks into a room, how he knows how to treat her. He knows how to treat her like a lady. He is very um, well-dressed. He may even smell good because uh, Libra is ruled by Venus. Um, he, you know, makes sure he looks nice. He's very... Uh, like I said, well-versed on etiquette. Maybe he pulls out your chair, opens the car door for you. 
tips well to the waiter. Um, you know, this person just oozes class and grace, and this is the type of woman, uh, the type of guy you're attracted to, somebody who knows how to handle themselves. You know, and and this person knows how to handle social situations, even if somebody is, um, let's say, somebody is you know, trying to start a fight with this person, this guy knows how to talk and, you know, to try to smooth over the situation and not make it, you know, escalate, you know. And this could be something that you're like, wow, he really knows how to handle himself. He's a very graceful and classy person. This is what you're attracted to, okay. Um, this, is, this reminds me of, I'm trying to think of a movie. You know, this reminds me of a Cary Grant type of guy. And that's like an old actor. I know some of you might be like, geez, Laura, how, how old are you? <laughs> I like some of the old actors. I think that back then people were much, like, men were really classy back then. That's, that's just my opinion. So, you know, if you watch some of those old movies, Cary Grant movies, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, and, again, men or women, this is your energy as well. So as a woman, you would display this energy too. You would show that you're very classy, that you know etiquette, that you know how to handle yourself in any social situation, and you want a partner who is just that as well. Okay? So if you have your Venus in Libra, uh, here we go. Okay. Men, um, if you have your Venus in Libra, this is what you're attracted to in a woman. You're attracted to a very graceful you know, a woman, like I said, with Mars, knows how to handle herself in social situations. She's probably very beautiful. Um, this person, you know, I would say, uh, you know, this is your uh, Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> you know? Just give me an example. This is your Audrey Hepburn, uh, you know, type of person. Somebody who dresses nice, knows how to handle themselves, very classy, um, very, this person, um, this isn't somebody who's very crass, you know, women who talk, you know, this isn't somebody who talks like a truck driver or who's very crass. This isn't somebody who's very, um, you know, boisterous or loud. This person just has this uh, elegance to them, class and grace, you know, knows how to be a lady, you know, and well-versed on etiquette too, um, you know, that, that's very much so. And I will say with Libra, um, with Venus here, um, this woman also that you're attracted to may not go to bed with you right away. You know, this may, you know, this may be someone who, who goes a little bit slower. Um, there could be more intellectual stimulation. Ladies, the same thing with your Mars. Um, with Libra Mars, you could be attracted to a guy who is intellectually uh, stimulating because this is an air sign. The same thing with, for men, for Libra, uh, Venus and Libra. Be attracted to a woman who's intellectually stimulating, uh, very pleasant to speak to. Okay, very much so. Okay, so I think you guys get the gist. Now, if you have um, your Venus is in Libra financially, Venus also rules money. Okay, and this has a lot to. You can make money. Um, judges are, have this placement. Artists, uh, people in cosmetics, fashion, receptionists, advertising. Uh, interior decorating, and, you know, prostitutes do too, <laughs> have this. Um, but also, um, I, I want to say as well, lawyers, you know, I, I should add that to this thing. Lawyers have this, and any kind of counselor, um, okay, and counselors. All right, so I hope this helps you guys. Um, and if you would like to uh, like, share, and subscribe, would be great. If you like a reading, you can uh, book one. I'll put a link here and you can book it anytime. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you and um, please share if you know any other Libra placement people and uh, maybe they like it too. Well, I will talk to you soon and have a good one. Bye-bye.